This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network, reporting from the annual meeting of the Endocrine Society in San Diego. During a press briefing, Dr. Judith Corner presented findings from a study of 14 obese patients with type 2 diabetes. What we found is that there was a much greater improvement after the bypass procedure in terms of the way the body deals with glucose, the way the body makes insulin, compared to the people who lost the same amount of weight by diet. Um, and what this is telling us is that independent of all this hormone secretion that occurs with a meal, if you even just inject your body with glucose, after the bypass, you're much more able to deal with um, blood sugar. This is a particular experiment with a few individuals in a very um, uh, strict type of protocol. And I don't want us to come away from this saying that the bypass is definitely better for the treatment of diabetes than um, diet. And the reason I don't want to say that is because we, the people who were on the diet lost weight much slower. So it took eight weeks for those on the diet to lose weight as opposed to three weeks for those on the bypass. Um, in this scenario, the bypass was better. The question is if we were to be able to get people on the diet to lose weight at the same rate as those with the bypass, would the bypass be beneficial? You cannot put someone on a diet um, that has as few calories as um, a person who has a bypass. This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network.